And welcome back to the Couch Patch. I think it's been two weeks since we played a game. Yeah. I'm Dad. I'm Tom. And I'm Gus. All right. And what did we play today? We played Pandemic. Hot Zone. Hello, Pandemic. And also, I guess, look here if you want Hot to. Hot Zone. Uh, which is a simpler, easier kind of version of Pandemic, which I've played, but you haven't. And maybe at some uh, point. Hot Zone is yeah maybe we'll play, we'll play it we will play it at some point and we'll compare it it's a little harder there's four diseases so anyway Pandemic Hot Zone is a smaller version of Pandemic instead of four diseases to cure through uh, in the entire world you've got three diseases to cure just in North America uh, it otherwise plays exactly like Pandemic in South uh, North America we lost well we we did we did we did not quite win in this particular version of the game. Um, each character, each player gets a character card, and each character has, let's see if we can get that in focus there, has a special ability. So the medic, when you treat a disease action, remove all cubes of that color in, in that city, and automatically remove and do not replace cubes of cured diseases in the city you're currently in. Um, Tommy was the dispatcher, which lets him move other characters can we see that there it goes there it goes let you move other characters uh, or himself to any other character's position or take a character along for a ride with you and Gus was the generalist which gives him an extra action every turn so each player's turn has four act they get to do uh, four actions um, and those actions can be cure treat a disease in the city they can be find a cure and they're summarized on the actions card, so treat a disease, share knowledge, which means trade a card with somebody, discover a cure, which means uh, trade in four cards of the same color to get one of these cure tokens moved up on the board, drive or move to a connected city, fly to another city either by taking the card that matches the city that you're in and going anywhere, or discarding a card of a city that you want to go to and discarding that one. And as you play the game, you start off with these city cards, uh, so you can see mine, I've got four yellow cards here, Havana, Santo Domingo, and New Orleans. And these are all things in sort of the south, southeastern part of, uh, of North America here. Um, so I could have traded one of those cards in to fly somewhere or flown to that city. Uh, the game ends when the players cooperate and cure all three diseases. By going to Atlanta and trading in four cards of the same color? Yes. Or the game ends by losing by having too many outbreaks or on you the, run on out the path of here. Cards. Or you run out of cards over here in the draw pile for the player cards. Because the way that the turns work is you do your four actions, then you draw two player cards, then you draw what they call infection cards. And infection cards are also cards with the city's names on it. And when you draw one of these, you put a disease cube of the color, so in this case a blue cube, in the city that it matches the card. And as the game progresses, more and more infections happen if you get more and more epidemics and outbreaks and things like that. So it progresses pretty quickly. I don't think that took more than probably 30 minutes for us to play, which is kind of cool. Uh, there's a lot of rules to let people look those up online. What did you like about it, Gus? The models. You like the meeples and the tokens? Mm -hmm. They're pretty cool. Tommy? I liked, liked get, removing the diseases. Right, getting to a city and removing diseases from it, so treating disease. So Tommy really liked helping people out. I really like the tension that builds over the game. So you keep drawing these cards and you keep putting more disease throughout North America. And sometimes you draw these things called epidemic cards, which means you put a whole bunch more disease in the place and then reshuffle your, your discarded uh, city infection deck so that it's the same cities that are getting infected over and over and over again. Um, so I really like the tension from that. I think we had to remind ourselves how to win a couple of times or how to lose, how to win and or lose. Um, there, it is important to know what city you're in, right? So that you can use cards to discard and move yes. places. And share. 
and share cards. You have to actually, you can share cards between players, but you have to be in a city that matches the card, and you both have to be there. So that's interesting. Um, uh, otherwise, it, it was a fun game. I enjoyed it. Uh, it's very similar in theme to Hot Shots, which we just played not too long ago. Flashpoint, which we played, uh, I think, two months ago. And Horrified, where you're trying to move to various places on the maps and take your actions to save things. Yes. Uh, so in the firefighting games, we were putting fires out. and Horrified, we were saving villagers. And here, we're curing diseases. Uh, I think that's it. I, what, I, what, anything else? What did I miss? Anything else about the game you want to talk about? No, not really. No. Are you ready to give it a score? Yep. Yeah. All right, Gus, how many cabbages are you going to give it? Two. Two cabbages. Solid two. How about you? Two cabbage, two little cabbage brothers. Two Thanks. little cabbage brothers. I'm going to give it two as well. It's a solid game. It is not as much fun as I think this is the firefighting games. And the full version, it's got more cards and it lasts a little longer. So this goes really fast. So if you want to play a pandemic game, <coughs> it's cool. Was it easy to beat the disease? No. No. Is there a lesson to be learned there? If we had two more cards, we would have won. If we had one more turn, we would have won. Uh, so, you know, the, you know, disease spreads fast, right? And that, that's kind of scary. So that's the thing that I liked about the game, but it also is something that's happening in the real world, right? Right? So we were having a pandemic in the real world. Uh, and this is a, an interesting way to sort of explore that concept. And I, I, I like the game. But I, I think we'll, we'll try the full version of the game now that you guys have seen this. It's a little harder. It's it's like a it's like uh, you know ticket to ride. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on on the map. It doesn't take like an hour. It probably will take about an hour. You'll be fine. I, Do I, not eat or drink the potions. All right. Well, I think that's it. So we've given it six cabbages. Yay! Yay! It's a fun game. If there's nothing else, I think it's time to do the outro. Subscribe, like, hit that bell. Sorry. Leave a comment if you wish. Plenty of cabbages, not our stuff. Because, because there will be diseases we, in yes. your cabbages. We are we <laughs> hold the best of your life. We oh hold diseases. Gosh. Oh, we hold my diseases. gosh. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. See ya.